not savages. Apes fight only to survive. In the movie War for the Planet of the Apes, most of mankind is gone now thanks to a deadly virus strain. Those that remain are feeling a little stressed. The irony is we created you. For while that engineered virus has leveled the world a man, and nature has been punishing us ever since. It's given an IQ boost to chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. Those primates are man's intellectual equals now, capable of riding horses, shooting guns, and creating civilizations of their own. Their leader, for instance, an ape named Caesar, is a true hero. He's a complex individual tormented by the violence and unrest between apes and humans, but the truth is, no matter how Caesar applies himself to the ape versus mankind conflicts at hand, things are bound to become explosive. For the surviving remnants of humanity are a well-armed lot and they're not about to give up their planetary primacy without a fight. The modern Planet of the Apes movies continue to march forward to the series' starting point, the 1968 original movie featuring actor Charlton Heston. Like its predecessors, this pick has moments of warmth and self-sacrifice, and it asks questions about what it really means to be human. Of course, today's CGI special effects also result in a much more intense and realistic dose of warring violence. Add in some bad language, and I'll be giving this latest Planet of the Apes flick three sentient simians out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review of this film, or really, anything else at your local box office, visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Bob Olaszewski for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.